Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 6. The valley is now covered in a blanket of snow, and as you can see, the plows are out and hard at work to keep the roads clear. As the snow continues to fall, let's send it over to our meteorologist, Nathan Hopper, for the very latest in our no wait weather. Nathan, how much more snow can we expect? Well, let's talk about how much snow we've gotten first, and then we'll talk about how much snow we can expect on top of what we have so far. So the latest snowfall reports we've got, again, this is so far, were four inches in Grand Forks, five inches in Fargo. That was as of 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. respectively. But in Colm, just picked up just under a foot of snowfall so far. Aberdeen, just over a foot of snow so far. Lemoore, that was a fresh report that came in at eight and a half inches. Valley City, six inches so far. West Fargo, eight inches. And then, of course, Moorhead and Arthur rounding up the list around five inches there. Again, these are so far. I do expect more snowfall, as uh, Kate was saying to continue through the rest of the evening. You see some bands of heavier moisture moving through the Red River Valley at this time. A bit of a dry slot there approaching our south and western and south and eastern counties. So not as much snowfall falling there as we speak, but still plenty of moisture around. We can even zoom in and see the heavy snowfall right now, right around the Mayville and in Hillsborough areas. So still expecting perhaps an additional six inches or more in a few spots and on top of what we gotten already, Katie, but we'll break it down hour by hour with uh, how much more we can expect and when it leaves coming up in a couple minutes. All right. Well, thank you, Nathan. You bet. A heads up for drivers. The North Dakota Department of Transportation has issued a no travel advisory for portions of northwestern and northeastern North Dakota. Cities included in the no travel advisory are Williston, Minot, Grand Forks and surrounding areas. A travel alert has also been issued for portions of southwestern and north central North Dakota. Cities included in the travel alert are Dickinson, Bismarck and Devils Lake. Now let's get a feel for road conditions in the FM Metro. Here's a Valley News Team's traffic reporter, Devin Fry. Thank you, Katie, and good River Valley. As you can probably imagine, it is a fun drive out here today. We are on I-29 right now. We are heading southbound. Now, overall, the traffic flow has been slowed quite a bit because of these conditions. We're going about 40 to 45 miles an hour on the interstate. Some delays there simply based off conditions alone now traffic flow is thankfully light not a lot of people are uh, out here trying to brave this right now however they're automatically going to be facing delays simply because of the conditions now you can see these snow covered roads they're certainly slippery in some spots the main areas to watch out for are not actually here on the interstates but on the roads when you get to those intersections and you're forced to stop at a that's where you're going to slide the most. So watch out for those. We're going to keep checking out the roadways, but for right now, for your traffic on the move, I'm Devin Fry. Devin, we will check back in with you later in the show for an update. The best way to stay on top of this storm is by downloading the Valley News Live Storm Team weather app. You'll get the latest forecasts and conditions so you can plan your day wherever you are. Just search VNL Weather in the App Store and download it for free. If you're flying in or out of the valley today, be sure to check the status of your flight. Hector International Airport has seen delays all day right now. If you are hoping to fly out of Fargo, flights to Denver, Minneapolis and Chicago are all delayed. The Grand Forks International Airport has also seen some trouble with flights being canceled earlier today. Right now it looks like evening flights to Minneapolis have been canceled. And speaking of those delays, travelers headed to and from the area are not having much luck. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard is live from Hector International Airport. Callie, what are you seeing out there? Hi, Katie. The holiday has come and gone, and now travelers are trying to find a way home. Mother Nature is getting in the way of their plans. I've been at the airport all day talking with people that say they've spent thousands of dollars on flights and are now just ready to be in the comfort of their own home. They were very icy when we were driving here. We saw a few cars that had slid off the roads. Many like Philip Faulkner flew to Fargo to spend the holiday with friends and family. Hopefully I'll get home tonight. People were antsy waiting in the airport Saturday. Travelers say the chances of them getting home this weekend are 50-50. I've just been out here all week and it's just been cooped up in a hotel so I'm ready to get home and be in the comfort of my own home again. 
Blaine Conkle from Fort Collins, Colorado, has been waiting in the airport all day. We were supposed to fly out at 5.50 this morning, but I think there was high winds in Denver, so our flight got canceled. He and many others are booking hotels again. Try to keep costs down. We just had to spend another $1,000 to book more flights. Now, travels are, travelers are talking about which hotels that they can stay at as that have shuttles, as many of them already returned their rental cars. Travel experts also tell us that if something went wrong with your flight, to call customer support, they just might help you out. Back to you, Katie. Thank you, Kelly, for that live report. And with the blanket of snow comes dangerous road conditions. Just after noon, Interstate 94 over the Red River was lined with emergency crews for a multiple vehicle crash. Officials tell us a semi and up to five other vehicles were involved. Two people were transported to the hospital. The extent of their injuries are not known at this time. Officials want to remind everyone to slow down, increase following distances, and keep your eyes on the road, especially with these slick conditions. Later on Valley News Live at 6, why one North Dakota family's goal is to be the light that shines in the darkness. And the snowfall is causing some reduced visibilities across our area. Right now, we got a quarter mile visibility in Grand Forks, just over a mile visibility in Fargo. And I expect these conditions to continue through the rest of the night. I'll break down your forecast next.